What up? Jeff here with all my ICP Renegades. And today we're doing the long awaited Infinity Swap uh, tutorial and Bitfinity wallet. So, what we're going to do is use a VPN since I'm from the United States. Unfortunately, um, I'm not able to interact with Bitfinity wallet or Infinity Swap, um, which is ridiculous because it is an absolute freaking juggernaut in the industry because it was the original three decentralized exchanges that were on internet computer. It started out with ICP Swap, Sonic, and Infinity Swap. And they um, all were ushering forward CKBTC, decentralized swapping, NFTs, and more. So these kind of things are awesome. Um, this is a long overdue video, but we finally had time to get to it. And we're just going to show you basically how to do this, um, walk you through the steps, and then we're going to uh, look at all the swapping, all of the cool things that you can do over there, and um, just everything that there's going on over there. So let's get into this. But before we start, hit that like button, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, guys, because that's the biggest thing. People don't know when I'm going live. I normally have a set time, but you know, life is crazy sometimes, and sometimes I need to upload off of um, schedule, right? So that's what we're doing here. And if you turn on that notification bell, you can you can find any video that I upload at any time. It'll send it right to you there. And if you can't watch it right away, you can watch it later and you'll know that I made the video. But if you don't get a notification, how do you know if I even made a video, right? So that's what um, I'm just encouraging you to do. Subscribe, um, share it, do whatever. Let's get people out there to understand um, this new technology and how to use it. Because a lot of people are going to be used early so that if they have struggles and don't understand how to use it, they can come back and watch this tutorial later. So that's what we're doing here. Bitfinity wallet, right? That's what I do. Oh, Google. And we have two options here, either the Google, I think they're doing an advertisement, which is cool, or Bitfinity swap, right? Or Bitfinity wallet right here. A wallet to store and manage NFTs, tokens, and connect to dApps on the internet computer. So this is a major player in the space. and. Um, I, I really do enjoy it. I didn't really understand. Uh, I couldn't use a VPN on it before. And now I can. So uh, that's why I didn't make the video originally is because the VPN didn't work. But uh, now it is. So what we do is we look it up and then boom, download now. And it's going to take you to your devices. Um, whatever device you're on, it's going to take you to where you need to go. I already have this on Chrome. So you would just hit install right here um, where it says remove from Chrome. This would say uh, add to device or add extension or something like that. Um, that's going to be right there and tells you. And then once you have this, okay, uh, you have it as a Chrome extension, right? So Bitfinity Wallet. And this is what we have here. Oh, so that's what you do. You go to your extension and then you open it. And then, hi, welcome to Bitfinity Wallet. Seems like you don't have an account. Please click below. Uh, on the button to proceed. Click here to create an account, or if you want to restore an account, click there, but this is a tutorial on how to make it. So click here to create an account. Then you want to put in your password and you create an account or sign up with your internet identity. I wouldn't recommend doing that just in case you ever need to sell your um, internet identity one day. Um, for now, they, they don't have a way to split neurons to another internet identity. So everything you have basically hooks up to that. So I just say create free account. Or if you want to, you can sign up with your internet identity. And again, these are um, your seed phrases. I'm not going to keep this wallet. I'm, this is just a, a wallet I'm creating for this video. Um, so copy seed phrase to clipboard. I don't recommend doing that. Actually, I would... Um, just write all these down, put them in a journal or a safe somewhere, um, or buy a, uh, a key uh, lock, which they have, and it, it will keep your passphrase safe. But I'm going to copy this for the sake of the video and then move on to the next one. Congratulations, your account has been created successfully. Open your extension pop-up to continue. So extension pop-up. And there you go. So this is how we get into our Bitfinity wallet. This is our Bitfinity wallet. Now you can have your tokens, your ICP, you got your NFTs over here. This is a lot like Plug Wallet, except it's for people out of the United States or somebody who wants to use a VPN. Because how ridiculous is it that our government will not allow us to be involved 
in something that is outside of the United States like that. I mean, it, it could be they're, you know, keeping other people uh, or trying to keep their, um, you know, business safe from the regulation of the United States. And that's that's kind of a big problem um, that the United States is so uncrypto friendly that um, places like Bitfinity Wallet, which are the original three from the Internet computer of decentralized exchanges, are not allowed to be used by United States citizens, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we do have a couple other options. That's cool. But Bitfinity Wallet and Infinity Swap should be able to be used by Americans. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. So um, then once you have your Bitfinity Wallet, you can go to Infinity Swap. So that's what we're going to do next. Infinity Swap. I always forget an I in there, but that's okay. Okay, so now here's Infinity Swap. This is and here you go. Now you can try the app. You can create, stake, and swap Bitcoin and IC tokens with lower fees. And yeah, you can hold ICP on your Bitfinity wallet as well. So we're going to go to try the app. And you don't have to download this. This is going to be um, just an app that you use. You, you don't have to download it. The wallet you, you you download because it's part, that's where your money's going, right? That's where, that's, you know, a pretty important part of that. So definitely be aware of that except and continue and boom then you're right in here and you can start trading so we're going to go over the swap part first um you're going to have to understand about slippage tolerance you're probably not going to want to set this at five percent um you can have it to auto which is normally a pretty low percent right here or you can you can choose your own like 0 0.5 that's a pretty good one right there so boom now my slippage tolerance is under one percent it's half a percent so if you you that means when you trade icp for a token or a token for icp um mainly a token for icp though um if they don't have enough liquidity um you won't be able to use this so this will keep you safe from any non-liquidity um you know projects that might uh you know lose you a lot of money now if you're you're like i don't care i support that project whatever you could put this up as high as like 10 percent, right um, and, and I don't recommend doing that because that means you could lose 10% of your money. Slippage is basically the amount that you can lose compared to what it's worth um, when it trades. So you're definitely going to need to know about that. And I would just have this probably on auto here. Um, it says 5%, but let's see if we actually switch it to like something else if it changes. I guess it's going to do 5%. Um, it doesn't mean that it is going to be a 5%. Um, you know, trade or anything like you're going to lose 5%, but that's the most that you could lose if, you know, that happens. So and then you can SNS one, boom, say one, $450 and you, they would fetch the price and get the price of ICP for that. And then you get 82.9 ICP. Ooh, that's a, that's a huge um, gap. So if I saw that, I would definitely go over here and do my own slippage, uh, like 0 0.5. Definitely. Um, that's a big, big loss from, from 455 to 324. It's minus 28%. So you would not be able to do this right here, um, unfortunately. But that's still, you know, this this thing just went up from like $180 to 400 bucks, right? So um, I would definitely check around on other uh, decentralized exchanges and see if you can get it for cheaper on there. Um, but I would definitely come over here and check it out. So that's just the SNS one token. Um, they did just um, move over. So, and then you can search here. Like, um, you're probably going to have to add stuff. It looks like, let's try a chat. Okay. It looks like you can look up pretty much anything if you do chat. And then you're going to want to do that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And you're going to, of course, before you, if you want to trade, you're going to have to connect a wallet, right? So that's what I would do, connect wallet. By connecting wallet, you agree to the terms of services, all of that. So and then Bitfinity wallet, then it will prompt a, a notification over here for you to allow or decline and you allow that. So here we go. And then this is a normal slippage. I would put it to 8.8 .8 on there um, or auto. Um, so the cool thing is this is only gonna take point up to 0 0.81, right? even if you have it at the slippage tolerance of five. So basically pay attention to this right here because it's going to be the estimated difference between the USD values of input and output amounts. 
And basically that just means um, there's not enough liquidity or the price is different than the, um, the, the amount that you're supposed to get from the amount of the token. So, and of course I don't have TAT tokens right here or ICP because there's nothing in this account. But, and then if you want to come over here, here's the liquidity pools. This is where um, they put the money for all of these swaps over here. If you don't have any liquidity, you can't trade anything. That is basically what a, a decentralized exchange does. They lock up an amount of say SNS1 and an amount of ICP that provides liquidity to be traded on here. And if you don't understand that, that's okay. Um, you don't really need to. Um, you, uh, you're going to want if you don't understand that you need to do a lot more research is what i'm saying so and they have a nice liquidity of two thousand over here but with it being four hundred dollars a piece and they only have two thousand over here that is why that slippage is so high right um and so chat token now has hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars in liquidity so this is why this one is doing so well because it has big liquidity and that's why it has a, such a small slippage because there is a lot of liquidity in there. When there's not a lot of liquidity, it brings the slippage up. And that's what I was saying. Liquidity um, is the ICP and SNS1 token right here. So 24 hour volume, $28, seven day volume, 600. Um, over here, boom, seven day volume, 6,000. So chat token is the... Um, pretty pretty big one over here right now sns is definitely going to be um growing and getting better so you can add liquidity here if you want you can be part of that um it's been disabled it looks like for right now so um definitely know that but in the future um you will come here and you can add liquidity which means say you want uh you know icp sns to go up in price because it has very low liquidity. So if you had like $20,000, you could come over here, put $20,000 worth of liquidity and it would raise the price and that way you could get $400 a piece, you know, and you could get all of the money out of your SNS1 tokens here on um, Infinity Swap. So you could actually control the liquidity. I'd be careful if you put a bunch of liquidity, you know, there are people that could take their liquidity out and dump the price on you. So just be careful about that. Be strategic. That that part isn't for beginners. But if you're an advanced, um, you know, trader and an advanced liquidity pool person, you could definitely pump the price. Um, just be careful because they could dump it on you. So uh, the ICP market cap is 1.71 billion, a 3.3 percent decrease over the last. Year. And then we can go to the tokens. So the cool thing about um, the tokens are you should be able to add um, tokens that aren't on here. Okay, so staked ICP, SNS1, chat token, origin, OGY, Bitcoin, baby. Um, it has, you know, the swap features that you can use um, and you can probably tra trade chat token and other stuff over here. So um, I will do an update on this because it does look pretty fairly new still. Um, and then if you want to read about it, you can go to the blog over here. They do have all their links right here and then the documents, of course. So. And ICP is down 3.92%. All right. So I think that's about the gist of this tutorial. Um, if you want to mess around with stuff over there, I would just recommend using a very small amount of stuff. Um, but if you're over there to buy some chat tokens or something, um, or SNS when it gets more liquidity, um, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, but for now, we are going to bid you adieu. So goodbye and good I see.